Hello friends! In the last video, we painted a Victorian house with red bricks. Today, I'm doing a cozy little house sitting on a bit of snow. I put the link to the reference photo in the description below, so if you'd like to try painting this house yourself, you can get the reference there. The original reference photo was a bit dark and gray, so I did change up the mood for this one a little bit. I'm also trying out a different method with this one. If you recall in the last painting for the Victorian house, I started out with the pencil sketch. Then I did most of the ink art first with the micron pen before I started coloring it in with watercolor. This time around, I decided to try putting down the base layer of watercolor first on top of the pencil sketch and then doing the ink line art on top of that. For the art materials, I'm using a size 0.7 mechanical pencil, the Windsor & Newton 14 color watercolor set, and the number 5 micron pen. You can find the links to these in the description section below. I know I've been using the same watercolor set for the last number of videos, but just in case this is your first time here, first of all, welcome! I hope you enjoy my painting process. I always wonder who my return viewers are and what you like the most about my art videos. I'm also curious which one of my videos is your all-time favorite. If you could please leave a comment below and let me know. So now I have the basic blocks of color for the house down. I'm just putting some color on the fence over here. I know it doesn't look like much right now because everything is just very blocky and rough. I think that's the thing about putting down the colors first before the line art, is the edges are very rough and you can also see where each of the brush stroke is, but I promise it's going to come together soon. Now this part wasn't exactly in the reference photo, but I didn't want it to be so dark and gloomy, and so I still put in a little bit of fall colors here. This was the orange and red. So we're kind of just pretending like there are still some leaves on the tree here. I'm just adding a touch of blue, not very dark. Just wanted a basic wash in the background so we don't have a white background above the house. So now I'm ready to go in with my micron pen. And I'm just starting with the roof over here. You can see that little one block color is now separated into a few different spaces. And this is also where I can correct the outline for the window that looked a little bit crooked before. It doesn't have to be perfect. Otherwise, for the roof over here, I'd be using a ruler instead. But I think just doing these freehand is quite satisfying. For the little roof section over here, it's going to taper out a little bit at the edge because it's coming towards us. I'm just adding in a little bit extra detail with the tiny little window over here. And then I'll just color in this section later after the line art is done. So now that I've added the window portion, it's looking a lot more like a house. Just a little bit of extra brickwork over here. So about the details. Now I didn't sketch out the window panes over here with the pencil ahead of time. So here I'm just freehand drawing the details for this window and a little bit of curtain inside. Here I'm just creating the line for the snow. You can see it's not quite flat, it's a little bumpy here and there. 
For the fence, I'm just outlining the vertical post first and then the connecting pieces behind it. Using black with just a little bit of water added into it, I'm just coloring in this portion inside the window just to show the curtain in the negative space. So I'm adding the shadows under the roof and just coloring in each of the windows. Using vertical lines, I'm creating the shape for the curtains inside the door and the window. Since the color used for this is so light, if you do get a little bit outside of the line, that's okay. Here I'm using some really dark brown under the roof area for the shadow. And also just a little bit more on the brick wall outside to make it look a little more dated. And just to add a little texture to the wall. Mix some dark blue with a little bit of black and a little bit of water. I'm going to paint the shadows on the snow. So now you can kind of see the snow in front of the house. It looks a little bit more three-dimensional. Just adding a little bit extra shadow behind the fence to make the fence pop a little bit. Coloring in the window sills with a dark blue. Using the same color with a little bit of water added. I'm just creating the shadows under the roof. As I add more shadows, I will make it a little bit darker. Now I'm using a brown liner pen to create the texture on the roof. First I'm just doing these horizontal lines. I try to space them apart more or less evenly but it doesn't have to be perfect. And now I'm just doing the vertical lines through the entire rooftop. I wanted to make the roof a little bit darker with a bluish tint, but I think the colored liner pen did not work so well with a water base on top of it. So later I did actually use my number 5 micron pen to go over the lines on the roof a little bit more. For the wall of the house, I'm creating these horizontal lines first and basically doing a similar pattern but a little more fine of a pattern than the roof. Not all bricks are the exact same size and that's fine. I don't know if I've emphasize this in my other videos enough yet, but nothing has to be perfect. The more painting videos I'm making, the more I feel this way. It's all about the journey, the process of creation. Getting better at art isn't a conscious thing that you feel as you are creating. 
It's something you realize after you've been creating with your head down for a while. When you compare the current work with something you've made six months ago or a year ago, I think all of us have moments where we get into an artist block or writer's block or literally the pursuit of anything else in life, because in our mind we want to make this perfect thing, and we get this anxiety, a little voice in our head saying. Oh, what if it's not good? And that can sometimes put a halt to our progress, our ability to simply act upon our goals. Have you had any experience in your life where you felt this way about your pursuit of a hobby or something that you wanted to get better at? I would love to hear about your experience in the comments below. It's like building a house. You know, you have to go brick by brick. When I start out each one of my paintings, I don't have an exact vision of what it will look like at the end. When I first tried that new method of laying down the blocks of color first before the line work, it didn't look exactly how I envisioned, and it didn't look very good until I started putting the line art down. So I just keep going layer by layer with each additional layer of watercolor. And line art, it starts to become a little more detailed, and it looks more like a house. Now I'm just about done with this painting. A few final touches to fix the edges of the curtain with a jelly roll pen. I'm using a number ten over here. You can find the link to this pen in the description below. It's really handy for touching up your watercolor art at the end. Simply because the white in watercolor is quite transparent, and it doesn't achieve the same effect otherwise. If you enjoyed this painting, please let me know by subscribing to the channel and hitting that like button below the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.